Hey everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tarot. I'd like to acknowledge the Te Atiawa First Nations people, the traditional custodians of the land on which this video is made. And welcome to you, your guides, my guides and the universal energies. Okay, I just absolutely flabbergasted with uh, the names that are coming out for uh, uh, Trump's supposed cabinet picks. I'm sure you are as well. Uh, you know, an, an alleged underage sex trafficker is his attorney general, a intelligence um, skeptic as the director of intelligence agencies. Just, oh my goodness. Um, as if it can't get any worse every time it gets worse, every name that comes out. Uh, the the um, the top brass in the military uh, have come out and and, ev and already said to see it's on CNN. This is a f and bleep bleep nightmare. So yeah, we'll agree with that completely. Uh, Trump has declared that he is going to. Uh, execute an executive order. I have been saying for a long time that he would rule by executive order. So that makes the Congress and the, uh, so the Senate and the House absolutely irrelevant. So he's, you know, brush them off. Um, an executive order to fire the top military, uh, and install his own people. So, you know, he's, can't say he's not been telling us. Um, but what I want to have a look at is, um, Oh, hey. uh, is why is Russia showing its hand now? So what's happened is that a couple of days ago on in the Russian state media, now the state media is run by the Kremlin. So anything that goes on state media in Russia has to be approved by the big wigs in the Kremlin, whether that's Putin, who I'm dubious whether he's still alive or not, or whether who is currently in control. Everything on state media has to be run uh, past uh, the top brass in the in the Kremlin, the top bigwigs in the Kremlin. Uh, so a couple of days ago, um, once uh, Trump was um, announced as the president-elect, ooh, all these nudie photos of Melania all of a sudden all over state media, uh, basically saying, yeah, we own you, we got stuff on you. As if that wasn't enough, a couple of days later, it, uh, there was a statement made by um, a deputy president or somewhere along those lines. I'm not; I, it's on my community page. I'm not going to pull it up. Um, that said, uh, there were strategies used by. Basically, they said, "Hey, Trump, we got you into the White House." If you want to look at the actual quote look it up, entertainment only. Uh, we got you into the White House. We, You owe us. We own you. Time to pay up. Now, Trump claimed apparently that he had had a discussion with uh, the Kremlin in regards to Ukraine. The Kremlin's come out and said, no, there wasn't. No discussion. Uh, and they're amassing 50,000 troops on the Ukrainian border. Read on that the other day. For those that were all pro- uh, Palestinian and thinking that Biden wasn't doing enough. Netanyahu, or, who I also, with uh, the help of Mossad, have a, had ha a hand in Trump getting elected. Um, Mossad is, oh boy, oh boy, if they can get pages and walkie talkies to, <laughs> to blow up, then goodness, you know, they, they have infinite possibilities. Um, but Netanyahu came out and said, oh, Surprise, surprise, Trump got elected. Thank you. I'll have guard. Uh, I'll have the um, West Bank. Thank you very much. Um, so if anyone thought that voting for Trump was going to protect the Palestinians or the Ukrainians or be anti-Russia, oh boy, oh boy, were you fooled. We've been trying to tell you for months, six months, 12 months. However, why is Russia showing its hand now. Surely one would have thought that it would have waited till Trump was actually in the big chair because um, to make their threats. Because at the moment, he's first week into being president-elect out of a, what is it, 10, 11 week before he actually gets inaugurated. Why are they showing their hand now? Okay. 
We're going to have a look at the energies of it. It's a slightly different layout to, to what I usually do. Why is Russia threatening Trump now at this point? Why is Trump threatening? Why is Russia threatening Trump now? Why? Okay, in private, I'm just going to say he is shiting bricks. <laughs> yeah, he's he's really, um, he puts on this face. He was at the, I believe, yes, he did go to the White House. Interestingly enough, the fire was lit with the meeting. The fire's hardly ever, ever lit. So I wonder if that was symbolic. Do not put it beyond Biden to do something like that symbolically. Uh, he went and bathed in the adulation of the GOP house. Mitch McConnell, too little, too late. Never forgive you for that. Um, okay. It feels like he's 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 feeding off the adulation of the house, but in privacy he's he's packing it. Um, Milani has no intention whatsoever of ever going anywhere near the White House. So thank you. Hopefully the Christmas trees will be at half decent. Uh, <laughs> he's not gonna he's not gonna be there at a Christmas. Okay, it's just what I got told. Right, come on down. Why are the Russians? showing their hand now in regards to having control over Trump. The fool is the signifier. Gosh, is this them making, trying to make the US look foolish? Or is this them projecting a new start? We all we've all said all along that that Trump is their useful idiot, the fool out the front of the stage while the while the uh, scenery is being changed behind the curtain. He's okay. We own you, the fool. They're just reminding him of the restriction that they have on him. The power they have over the US. Making the US look foolish. So, okay, so how are you going to get out of this now? Okay, that's an interesting thinking because I'm getting the feeling that those in the Kremlin, I'm just going to put it this way, those in the Kremlin are thinking in terms of um, Russian elections, that they are binding and that because Trump was elected, it's going to go through. Just like when Putin supposedly gets elected, it's going to go through. I think... I'm getting that they haven't quite they haven't they haven't grasped the concept of the US of the democracy system. Okay, but this is more for you. How are you gonna get out of this? Okay, the energies behind the scenes, the Knight of Cups. Well, the announcement was made out there. It wasn't it it was blatant without being blatant. The um, beware of beware of the gift in regards to the government, the president, the presidency, the highest position in the land. Mind you, some might argue that Justice Roberts has that position um, because he seems to be completely untouchable. But yeah. Okay, they gifted the presidency to Trump. Let's see where this goes. They gifted it 
you now owe us okay a lot of headlines getting out really quickly there a lot of information coming forward this could be um the overseas intelligence agencies this could just simply be the news outlets running with these stories a lot of information coming forward very quickly about Russia gifting the presidency to Trump and the manipulation that they undertook. Three major arcana so far there, but the manipulation that they undertook. The manifestation to gift this presidency to Trump. Why are they doing this? The karma hanging over, inflammatory messaging, volatile messaging moving forward. But we've got the star of hope. Inf okay, thank you. Just got been told in an attempt to blow up democracy. Inflammatory messaging being put out there in an attempt to blow up the best of democracy. That's the karma. The two of pentacles. Uh, the ship wrecking on the rocks as they um, play with the votes, flip the votes. It also can be the money, right? We wrecked your ship on the rocks, time for you to pay us. Deliberately causing anxiety within the US. This is why I did that reading yesterday. And I know other readers have done similar readings of um, not surrendering, but putting the worry down at the side of the road. There's no point in being worried. There's no point in, in swilling in anxiety. Doesn't mean we surrender. We've still got our swords in our scabbards. We're still going to, to fight. But they've done this to cause anxiety and, and distrust in the legality and the honesty of the election system. It's something unexpected is going to come out of left field that is going to expose it all. Wow. That's going to expose it all. Just seeing what's on the bottom. Okay. Let's have a look. Will Russia turn on Trump? Vance has been awfully quiet, hasn't he? Will Russia... Oh, there's so many things here I want to read on. Goodness. Will... I might do an extra couple today and then a uh, busy day tomorrow, so I might uh, not be here tomorrow. But let's have a look. Will Russia... There's the whistleblower popping its head up for me. Will Russia, will the Kremlin, the Kremlin, to, um, Netanyahu, he's in boots and all. He's in full with Trump, in the mud with him. But will the Kremlin, they do play the long game. Like very much like China. China thinks in terms of decades, if not centuries. Russia plays the long game too. Will Russia turn on Trump? Right, the Ten of Wands. Well, I've already seen that he is expendable, but will they dob him in? The chaos, the chaos of the messaging is going is getting too hard. It's bringing the end of a cycle. Look what's on the bottom. The best of democracy again coming through. It's almost like um, 
Trump and Musk, I'm going to say Musk because I don't feel Trump is actually smart enough to do this. It feels like Musk, he's so all in that he over all in. I'm getting the getting the strongest feeling that yes, Russia is going to turn on Trump and the election with the long game in mind. Does that make sense? Um, the okay, I just got told. Well, they effed it this time around. Uh, we'll throw them to the wolves, uh, and then we'll try again in four years because it what they did was so obvious what Musk and um, what Musk did I'm just going to say what Musk did is so obvious he allowed the greed of wanting to be the pseudo president can never be the legal president because he was born in South Africa. Doesn't matter if he's a citizen, doesn't matter if he's the supposed richest person in the world. He can never be the president or the leader of the United States under the current rulings. So therefore he's he's ruling he wants to rule through de facto and he's led his greed over step. So it's just becoming too burdensome. Okay. And they're going to offer offer up some information. It's almost like they have this wealth of information on Trump. They're going to offer some up. Are the Russians going to, is the Kremlin going to turn on them? Absolutely. Now, their game is to completely destroy the faith in democracy and the the US system because dictatorships and autocrats and, and these type do not like democracy and they want to destroy democracy, democracy everywhere in the world. But the question was, uh, is the Kremlin going to turn on the Trump election? And I think that's a yes. In the past, the dic their plans for a dictator. Now, I know behind the scenes that it's really they want Vance, who they can control. You'll notice Vance has been missing in action. But in the past, their goal was to get a dictator in place but here we have Biden administration foiling their plans this is DOJ this is Biden administration it can be IRS it can be FBI all those but I'm going to say Biden he's in the big chair he has control over this entire situation the immediate future, uh, again, this crossroads card about which way to go forward. The blindfold needs to be taken off and make a logical, strategical decision about which is the best way forward. I think that's well underway already. King of Swords. Drawing the sword. So we've got the King of Cups controlling the situation, the King of Swords. Usually my Jack Smith card, maybe they're going to give information to Jack Smith to bring forward externally to pack up the situation and move forward. There is going to be a collective awakening, a call to arms, but literally a judgment moment where inf it's going to be tootled. Trump on the back foot about the steel and a return to balance and a new beginning. Russia offering up 
something that will cleanse and start a new beginning. Oop, I'll have to pause you for a second. This was about the lie and the abuse of power and the steal and the betrayal. Hang on a sec. So many things trying to coordinate at the moment. Yeah, um, this also can be bringing forth overwhelming information, an offer that will bring about a cleansing as you've got all these eyes here. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, six moons. So I keep thinking five eyes, but there might be a sixth in there. Well, I suppose if you throw Russia in the mix, that is six, isn't it? About the steal, the abuse of power, the betrayal. Okay. Let's see what's on the bottom. Sorry, I've put those back in the wrong order there. Let's keep keep them looking good. The, the best of democracy. But then we have the death card. It could be the death of the victory because we've got the devil. And then things being looked in a different way because of the anxiety it is causing. Wow. Okay. I am just going to say that I am feeling that Russia are going to cut their losses, the Kremlin, on this time around because because what? Oh, they gave me the because and now I can't remember it. Spirit likes to do that. Do you always do that? They give you a message and then when you go to say it, it <laughs> my my own sister who I go to see has the same issue uh, in certain things. She goes, oh, I've been told the message. Here it is. Uh, they don't want you to know. I just get the feeling that they're going to cut their losses this time around and because of the overreach. Okay, thank you. And because Musk is is a rogue agent, is what I got. I got the word uncontrollable. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, but let's see how it goes. I think what's happened is they've given him a, two shots across the bow, and um. If he ignores them, then, oh, my God, they're going to take him down. I'm not saying take him out. I'm saying take him down. May even be because they then feed him. Why would they just feed information rather than blatantly say because they don't want to be fully exposed? Okay. Thank you. Buckle up. It's going to be wild. Love to you all. Take care. Bye-bye.